Okay, so good morning and, uh, and welcome back to Tobias Academy. Uh, we're looking at taking further than we have in our previous sessions. I'm um, going to stick with batting again this morning. Uh, we touched on four defensive, we touched on a four drive, playing through mid on, mid off. Um, and we touched briefly with playing against some spin uh, in our last session, bringing a bit of sweeping and so on. I'm going to sort of share with you probably three different skills that you can work uh, on your own with a tennis ball, with a wall, uh, in a garage, in the lounge, in the house, uh, where we can, I hope, enhance your understanding uh, and create the opportunity to create a better base and a more consistent base with your stand. The first thing I'm going to share with you, uh, ultimately, is, is just a distance away from the wall. Uh, as I shared with you the other day, you self feed it, so I'm going to throw the ball up in the air and I'm just going to play with my top hand. Purely and simply one hand. Okay, so bring left hand, right hand on the back, adopt the same stance, throw the ball up, I'm going to play with one hand. Stroking the ball, I'm not, I'm not defending, I'm looking at striking the ball, looking at attacking the play, but also with one hand. I go to there, I get a good strong base again, head and hand to the ball. Head goes to the ball, feet goes next to it in terms of getting into the pitch of the ball. So again, just into there, good control. One hand into there. Moving it on, change hands. So now, playing purely with my left hand, which is my bottom hand. Again, adopt your stance through the ball. Can I step and can I hit the ball with the same control? Want to put the ball back so I can feel the ball myself. So again, I'm in my stance, one hand, ball in there, and I'm playing there. So I'm allowing the ball control into the same area there. Put both hands on the back. How much you're going to do the day? Into there, stroke. Again, good strong base. Head and hands the ball, and play the ball. try and understand the mechanics of how both hands work. Uh, you do need to grip the bat with both hands, understanding the grip of the top hand, as I'm doing there, and the bottom hand, as I'm doing here, is absolutely key to being able to work the banner accordingly. And I think what you would find, and it's going to grab another ball here, is rather than gripping the bottom hand, in what we call a very strong manner, you'll find that you'll need to, what I call, break your hand so that the bat can work through it that way. So I've got control of the bat to play. My last demo on that one there, just throwing the ball in here. I'm going to have to play the ball under control, I'm going to go there. We talk a lot about moving our feet, which we have to do. There's no question about that. We need to make the game as easy as we can by being able to get nearer to the ball and play from a balanced, position. Going slightly Irish, I'm going to adopt the simple stance of, of I'm not going to move my feet now. Okay, so I'm going to feed the ball into the wall. Without moving my feet, I'm just going to play the ball. My feet will never move. Normal stance, throw the ball into the wall, play the ball. Everything is led, pure and simply, by head and hand and having a balanced position here without actually moving our feet. So again, Stands there, throw it to the ball, hit the wall, and play the ball. Again, I think you'll find I'm playing the ball slightly later. So I'm playing underneath my nose, so I can keep control. Play the ball, but no foot movement at all. And I've still got the ability to hit the ball into areas that is under control. Leg in this area here, pretty nicely balanced strong, comfortable, throw it into the wall, no foot movement, throw the ball back. Completely, completely under control. Slightly wider, but I can still put the ball nice and late in here, so I can play the ball back to the wall there. And again, poor throw there, but slightly better throw, and I play the ball through there. My last, um, just throw away. I guess to you, uh, in terms of how we might understand, uh, how I might assist you to try and achieve a strong base, would be to bring in 
three cones here. I've got three cones on what I'd call uh, our crease line. We would normally uh, be wanting to set up with a foot at either side of that. And then we're going to play from there. Uh, for this one, we're going to bring what I call a, a trigger movement or a pre-delivery movement that a batsman might have. More often than not, I think most batsmen, certainly um, at the professional level, will have some form of trigger movement just before the ball is bowled. It all be in the time it might be forward press and then they play from that you might then have a trigger move back and across and play. I'm just going to give you a quick demo in here of how you can adapt this towards a better understanding and a stronger base to hit the ball from. I'm setting outside my crease, I'm going to throw the ball up, trigger move it back and then I'm going to play. The position I play from is a good strong position balanced position and I'm hitting the ball underneath my nose again just to show you here the point of throwing I go back and across step and I play again the tennis ball expands the bounce it bounces two or three times you play when you're ready okay so again last one here just in here throw the ball up I step in I step out and I throw the ball and this is the distance that I'm getting in terms of the base I'm trying to play the ball all the time underneath my nose into this area here so I can keep the ball down.